is Alicia King and this is the Vision Splendid. Um, and in my work I'm really interested in sub subjectivity and embodiment in relation to developing biotechnology. And particularly in this piece I'm interested in the loss of subjectivity through um, tissue use in research. And so the cells that are in here um, were purchased online from the American Type Culture Collection. Um, they're like a non-for-profit organisation um, and they have over 4,000 cell lines, um, plant, animal and human cell lines. And scrolling through like, just those thousands and thousands of cell lines was kind of like looking through the online obituaries. I was thinking a lot about that darker side or the anonymous kind of origins of that tissue which is never recognised in biotech development. These cells are they're HS53T cells and they were taken from a skin sample of a 13 year old girl in 1969 and she had neurofibromas growing on her body. So basically it's a bioreactor, it's, it's like an artificial body. So in, in this vessel here, what you can see, the kind of vampire fang shape is a biodegradable polymer that's been seeded with human cells. Um, and as the exhibition continues, the polymer will break down and the cells will grow to form a tissue mass. So the structure you can see now will be replaced by um, human tissue structure. The dripping um, is from this IV bag, which is the nutrient solution, the media for the cells, which keep them growing and keep them healthy. So you can see that dripping down over these handmade glass bones, and the cells will also grow across the bones and form a tissue membrane over the top. And the piece in general is a reference to the historic reliquaries, which used to contain fragments of human bodies. I guess they embody that belief in an inherent kind of human essence of the individual in, in bodily material in general, but also in connecting the viewer to the, you know, that higher power.